Welcome back to Adventure in Art. I'm Ben Staley. In January, I was looking at several months on the road, uh, mostly in other countries, filming a TV show. And so just before I was due to leave town, kind of on a whim, I placed an Instagram story inviting anyone who wanted to come out and shoot some film with me the next weekend. Didn't really know what to expect. Didn't really think anyone would show up. I picked a kind of out of the way spot just to discourage the non-committed. I'm not really even sure why I did it. But this is what happened. That was the first frame on this camera. Yeah, yeah a lot of coyotes, a lot of rattlesnakes, a lot of skunks, a lot of raccoons. Perfect. Um, probably a few deer. Brother in law, my pants was old brother lives yeah. down in the Dana Point area. Uh, Nikon FM2. Yeah. Just getting into it. Right, like I've got uh, Panasonic Micro Four Thirds digital. And it's just like totally different to actually, you know, make all the adjustments and you know actually produce the picture instead of just clicking the shutter. That's what I've enjoyed about this. G400. Just trying to break it down and keep as many things as consistent as possible. To, you know, understand how to produce the picture. You know? Got a like M3 and the uh, Canon 51.4 thread mount lens from way back in the day. I got an F5 in the backpack. Take that out in a little bit. What kind of film you shoot? I'm shooting Ilford um, HP Plus. So I'm having some fun with black and white, yeah. I have nothing in my career, nothing to do with photography. Um, so just kind of a love, I document my life, things I do, climbing, skiing, friends, family. Um, Anything where I kind of want to hold on to those memories and got a big binder with negatives at home. And sometimes I print, sometimes I just keep them in there and I look back on them, hold them up for the light and say, yeah, it was a fun day. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, I connect with people like you guys. So. This is, yeah, this is the vintage Aww. camera. This is my favorite. Yeah, she's really beautiful here. This is my new camera that I got a few months ago. It's a vintage Hasselblad um, 500 Sam. It's a beauty. So I have an Ilford in here right now, uh, black and white. But it's a nice camera, it's a great camera. What do you like about it? What do I like about it? It's just so manual. Um, it just feels so real and old and it's great for double exposures. It's great if you wanna do self-portraits. I just like how when you wind it, it clicks, it makes noise. And then you can go like this and it makes a great sound. And you wind and it makes a great sound. But I just like looking down too. It's a little frustrating because everything's reversed when you look at it. Here. So it's all reversed. So if you have a person, it's going to be the opposite. And you have to kind of remember that. And oh my god, look at that. <laughs> that is so Don't, don't get jealous, don't get jealous. Tell us about your camera. Yeah. It's a very I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Um, oh. vintage Austrian camera that I brought all the way. It's quite rare. 
Um, I've got 27 shots on this. Um, I'm not gonna waste a single oh one of them. Oh my god. Nice. Yeah, feeling pretty good about this. I mean, I, I went for the expensive one, you know? Yeah, I actually get really good. It's got an extra feature I here. You. you can feel it on and off. Why are you jealous? Why are you so jealous? Man? I don't know. I don't have a green camera. Stop being so jealous. What are we shooting? Uh, XT11 Minolta with the McKinnon 28 2.8. I think Kodak Ultramax 400 expired in 2013. Yeah, and then I have some Fuji 400 in a uh, like R3 with a Tamron lens in it. So nice. Yeah, I scored that one. So I'm stoked. We're set. Oh, and the you know newest space age technology and camera straps. I like it. <laughs> Nikon FM10 on 35 to 70 zoom lens. Found it in my parents' garage. I think I've had it for probably six years. I've been using it for six months. It's just kind of a tank. Like I've taken it on road trips, I've taken it up mountains, and it's light and sturdy enough that I don't have to worry about it breaking down on me. The pair costs aren't too high. It's nice. Fuji 400. Um, Mostly because I live next door to a CVS, and CVS carries Fuji. Maybe I wanted the social connection. Maybe I wanted to stoke my creative fire for the coming grind. Maybe I wanted to test myself, to learn, to share.
cost me $250 for a camera that was, what, $3,000 in the 90s? Versus a new camera that's digital and will cost $1,000 now and be worth nothing tomorrow. What's the point? Everybody wants the, yeah. you know, oh, the M6 is sick. With, you know, this and I was like, well, what else is there? This is my favorite camera I've ever had. Yeah. yeah, I literally stumbled on this and it was just like, okay. It's a little well, bit I'm heavier, just, but and it's a little bit bigger, but yeah, like it's that like old I, SLR yeah, style. And I'm, you of. know, I, I kind of like almost sometimes want another 35 millimeter so I can have black and white here and then something where I can shoot color. Because yeah. sometimes I'm like, oh, I wanna. I want yeah. to fucking shoot that in color, and I don't. I have to wait till the the roll runs out. Right. But this, I think, and you want that kind of Leica mm -hmm. heft and build quality. Yeah. So this just seems like the way to go, man. This is fucking awesome. <laughs> You're like, mm, not sure about that. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> I know I'm a big disappointment. <laughs> Tell me about your camera that you love. <laughs> Tell me what you got. Uh, Why do you like it? Not film. It looks like film, so I'm faking it. I'm like a faker. I don't really do photography. Just hang out with you guys. <laughs> A good year. Kim, I haven't seen you take many pictures. I took five. <laughs> I took five because I talked. <laughs> Thirteen. <laughs> I've been chatty. <laughs> Stop. There's a little trail over here. You guys just be fucking careful crossing the road because people drive really fast. That's the last of my dad talk. Uh, Joseph Greenspan from New Jersey, just moved to San Diego. I like taking photographs. Play soccer down in San Diego for the uh, new professional team down there. Nice. So, so you're, you're a professional athlete? Yep. Nice. So I've been doing that for about six years now, and then I'm also uh, in the Navy Reserves, I'm a lieutenant. So I do that as well, I'm a public affairs officer. I like to get out, take photos, and hang out with friends, and meet new people, do cool things. So life's too, uh, life's too short to sit in uh, an apartment or a house and not do anything. So I'm Michael War. I came from Huntington Beach. I'm originally from Santa Cruz. I came out here because I thought it'd be fun to shoot film with some people. Uh, John Halloran, originally from Bangor, Maine, living in Sacramento, California right now. Um, yeah, just came down to shoot a bunch of film with awesome people. Michael Letts um, from San Diego. Well, I'm here to take pictures and to uh, experience sort of, you know, doing this with other people because I do it by myself most of the time. Seeing other people, seeing what they're seeing, looking at what they're looking at and coming up with something different. So, this is my fourth one, but the other one I didn't finish. It didn't get done on my other camera because of the batteries. So this is the fourth roll. I'll go through three and a half. I'll probably go through another one. I have, I have one more in my pocket, so. Yeah. <laughs> we shall see. Uh, my name is Bane Vishnich. Um, and uh, I always come out to uh, be with my friend, Ben Staley. I don't care where, where it is or what it is. 
it's another cool moment to share with him. So, and then meet a bunch of other people, uh, pretty cool folks come out. So uh, it's pretty awesome, uh, an amazing place. Look at this place, it's, it's um, unreal. I'm from Belgrade, Serbia, I used to be Yugoslavia uh, many, many years ago. But uh, I'm from San Diego, live in San Diego for, for many years. Um, Look at that grass and texture and the light, amazing. So, um, really cool, um, cool folks. Uh, just um, more good people to know. And I, I discovered, uh, actually discovered it for me, a new gorgeous place. I mean, this place is amazing. And as you're shooting, you have incredible light right on you. Uh, oh, I'm right here, move the camera this way a little bit. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that my pictures are the best. Um, I think uh, I really, I mean, I used how many shots? About 16 shots, and I nailed it. Uh, so I'm Alina, Alina Tamara, and I'm from Austria. I just came from Los Angeles. Gladly somebody picked me up and drove me here into the desert. <laughs> and what else was the question? I don't know, you having fun? Tell me how it's been for you. Um, well, I absolutely love the landscape here and it was really nice to meet all these people, all these creatives and it's nice to see Ben again. <laughs> um, it's been really nice. Yes, I'm very thankful. Just having fun, just playing around. I know, it's like, uh, I was like gonna not, but I just, the light's so good. I think I can do it. Boom. Brand new fresh roll. I just wanted to stand at the rim of a canyon with friends, both old and new, and watch the sun sink on the horizon. To feel the wind on my face. To taste the sweet, dry air. Maybe.